I'm about to do a flyby. Tom Cruise. <laughs> Question of flyby. Yeah, I'm All right, guys, today we're at the Smith Mountain Fire Tower. We're going to explore some things today. We're going to have some fun. And uh, it's a nice day. It's a, really nice. Pretty it's a, nice. It's a beautiful day. You know what? After we get through these woods, we may go down to the lake. Uh, we're just going to see what we can find, see what interesting we can find and explore today and see what we can get done. We're going to climb this hill, try to get close to that tower, and just go probably about 200 feet in the air and just look around and see how the area looks. All right. Now, I can't wait till we get down to the beach. Now, I want to get down to the beach in the island, but we're going to do this first because it's first on a mission and I don't want to forget it. But once we leave here, we're going to go down to the island and get to the water. But for now, let's see what we can find through these woods. All right, let's what do it. Yeah, we got a little hike ahead of us. Uh, hopefully this hike wasn't as bad as the one we did at DeSoto, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I think we can make it happen. You ready? Right, let's do it. All right, drone show, guys. Drone show episode one, man. Let's just knock it out. Let's make it happen. All right. Well, you I know. The other thing is, my goal today, is to try to find some good little wildlife out here while we're hiking. It's a little chilly, so I don't expect to see much. But if we get lucky enough and find a snake or something cool out here. Yeah, if we're lucky that we if we're lucky enough we won't see a snake. <laughs> but I'm looking anyway. <laughs> I don't like them things, but I got a habit of always bumping into these things. Man. <sighs> All right. This must be a good old sight, man, the way this hike is. <laughs> man, this ain't looking like water or something. So you need to look at this on the map before we start. <laughs> right? I'm hoping. Well, look, I don't know. You didn't judge the distance on how far we're going to be walking on this bad boy? First time you, first time me. Man, you first time was looking at that map. <laughs> I never first time looked at that map. <laughs> It'd be better coming back down. That'd be good. Let's take a look at it. Should be pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I'd rather do the hard part first anyway. There you go. <laughs> Man. Yeah. You sure that tower we're going through the tower? <laughs> they, they say it's up there. Okay. That's what they say. Uh -huh. They say you keep on walking up. <laughs> we gonna make it. Drone show. Here we go. Let's make it. This would be a nice little skateboard to go down. I might like to lay on that skateboard like the skiing, like that ice. I forgot what you call. I forgot what you call it. You gonna be skiing, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that thing bobsled. Yeah, you bobsled on these rocks if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Up there. I see some kind of Woo. There it is. Uh, yep. Woo. Woo. Yeah, wow. We made it. We finally made it to the top of Smith Mountain Fire Station. Man, I'm glad we finally made it up here. Chris, what do you think? Oh man, the, the trip getting up here was crazy, but it was worth it. Man, this this is like climbing another small mountain. But uh, as what you can see right now, it was worth the trip, man. You know, when you think about Lake Martin, you don't always think about mountains, right? So one of the reasons why we wanted to come out here is because uh, we want to get some shots of mountains, and we also want to get the lake, and we also want to get some uh, footage of the water. You've seen some of our videos before where we put our crash a drone into the water and have a good time. Hopefully, we can do some surprises for you today. We're gonna have some fun, but that's really why we're up here. Uh, there's a lot of uh, hawks flying around here, so you'll yeah, probably see them on the video. It. Hold on, man. It's a little bit too close. <laughs> a little too close. We're gonna catch one of these things. They're gonna attack the drone, man. Hey, we're also here for the drone show, man. We're here, we're gonna have fun with the drone show, but you're gonna see some of the things that happen with us that we don't always show you, such as these hawks attacking Chris's drone. Hopefully, we don't have any encounters. Actually, I think they're the vultures. Uh, you think the vultures are hawks? Look, we're gonna do a close up on it. You comment below and you tell me if it's a vulture or a hawk. I think those are hawks. Uh, the hawks are a little bit lighter colored, those are definitely vultures. 
Look at the beef. They're looking for food and everything too, by the way. Um, well, definitely vultures, but I'm worried about. He them. thinks a vulture. I think it's a Yeah, we're he hoping. He's probably right. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna show it to you though. <laughs> and we're hoping one of them things don't attack the drone, but we're gonna see if it happens. You're gonna know about it. Hey, I want the drone back. <laughs> well, that won't be up to me. It's gonna be up to our, to our friends up there flying Come on, around. Man. Come on, man. <laughs> we're gonna get the shot. We're gonna give it to you. Uh, I'm gonna try to get away from them now, but uh, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. It's like about five or six of them, and one of me. <laughs> hey, uh, we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, but our goal is to get down here, and then hopefully we can get down to the island below. Chris is gonna see if we can fly from the fire tower all the way a few miles that way to this island and we're going to uh, show you the island later on but uh, we're going to have a good time there. You all ready? right, let's go ahead and get this shot Let's going. get this done. You ready? All right. Normally, I don't use my FEVs but we got a lot of sun today and I like having a line of sight but every now and then just to get my bearings, I'm going to put this on just to escape the sun flares off my remote because there's a lot of sun. So really, I'm just wearing this to avoid the sun glare on my remote control. Um, but most of the time I'm gonna try to have this off and this is just to get me out of a tight spot But like I said, um Normally like I said, I like my I, I prefer my line of sight when I'm doing important work there All right, start the checklist start the checklist. All right, we got approval. We got approval. All right, micro SD Got the micro SD stored in there in the hard drive. All right, GPS GPS is good battery You got 16.7 volts. We're good. All right, recording recording and I think we're good. I think that's it. All right, ready to go. Let's get it. Let's make it happen. Finally coming back from a pretty good flight. We still have the either hawks or vultures or whatever they are hovering around, but we seem to still be doing okay. Chris is doing his thing. We're finally coming back. I feel like we got the tower pretty well. We got the rocks. We got the islands. This was a great flight. Chris, as always, does his thing. Excellent job. Good maneuvering. He's coming in for a nice, safe landing. Touchdown. Excellent job, man. All right, get back out rock and put your arms out. Hey! Hey, this is a nice surprise. Oh, man, you stand on top of this if you're without dying. Yeah, you gonna rotate around me? Well, we can both stand here on the stand off right yeah. rock. Yeah, I like it. That's what I was thinking, sitting off on one of these rocks. Yeah, nothing lost the drone. <laughs> it's still down there, man. The it's still way down there, man. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah, that's a good sitting off. My goal today is to try to find some good little wildlife out here while we're hiking. All right, we're at our second location right now. It looks like it's uh, no one's here, which is good for us. Uh, we're gonna see what's in the water over here. I'll show you a little bit once we get there, but I think we're gonna have some fun. The yeah. area that we wanted to get to is actually underwater. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and try this, this, this second location over here. It should be pretty good. Hopefully we'll see something underwater over here also. Yep. All right, ready? All right, let's do it. Let's make it. All right, hey, we're at the water now. You've seen some of our other videos. You saw us going underwater, so we're gonna let you get a little behind the scenes sneak peek at what we what we do. We have a good time. 
You're probably going to recognize this. Those who love drones like we do, you're probably going to recognize uh, uh, our underwater drone. If you don't, uh, we'll do another video on it shortly. If we get maybe, I don't know, 100 thumbs up or something, we'll uh, do a little bit of tutorial on this drone. So, uh, you ready? Go ahead, go. man. Ready to get this out. Yep. Uh, doing what we need to do. Uh, note to the manufacturer of this drone, you know, they didn't pay us for this, so I won't go into all the details about it. But uh, if you recognize your drone, we really wish you had a backpack. You know, I've heard comments online. Uh, some others have mentioned it as well. The suitcase is a nice touch. It's kind of solid. It keeps it from getting damaged. But I'd rather have a backpack. Just, just, I'm just saying. We like to hike. We like to get to special spots a lot. So, one of these would be really nice. There we go. That. Exactly. Another thing, underwater drones. They do have tethers. There's some that have tethers, and some that don't have tethers. I like the tether because you can keep connectivity, and if something happens, we can get it back. I really don't want to put two thousand dollars out in the water, and all of a sudden, I can't get it back. Now. There is another sub out there that's pretty cool. It has a return to home feature, just like some of the air drones, kind of like Chris flies. But uh, what happens if you return to home, but you're stuck in some mud or sticky something? So, you know, oh, yeah. we're going to go with the tethers for now and see what happens. Good. Got the lights. See the lights. Here we go. All right. And So if you saw that, hey, you can't win them all. We went into this water. It's way too murky and muddy. We just had, you know, three full days of rain with tornadoes and everything else you probably saw in the news. So we couldn't get in here. We're gonna go to another spot and see if we can get a little bit more clear water. We can't wait the second spot. Hopefully we'll get some luck on this side. Um, the other side was all murky. This one, this one was a little bit more blue and clear. We're gonna give it a shot, see what we get here. Let me tell you, we've had many drone, many underwater drones. To me, pound for pound, this is the best one. 
yet it does everything it needs to do. Has a great camera on it. Goes to the bottom. Today we got to 9.5 meters, which is there. Uh, you know, we do do the math. We're up between 20 and 30 feet. Uh, we had a great time today. Saw some surprise at the bottom of the water. We're gonna go back home, review the video, and then put it back together for you. I hope you like it. We're having a good time. Chris is gonna do his thing, and then we're gonna get out of here because we gotta go home. About to do a flyby. Tom Cruise. <laughs> Press the flyby. Yeah, buzz is buzz is power. See, I hope you enjoyed the video. We met some nice uh, folks out here. We uh, had some success in the water. We had some success in the air. We had one area of the water that wasn't murky. You don't win them all. There you go. We actually caught something down there. Well, we'll let that be a surprise for you. We, we thought our looking bad. We looked up and saw something. So we'll see what you guys, what you guys think. Um, I got my flight and I got my nice little rotation with the pan down actually out here. I had some fun here myself. I did my thing too. We're going to put it all together and see what we come up with. Absolutely. The clouds are moving in fast. This thing is coming in real quick on us. We came out here on a sunny day. Now it's cloudy. It's rolling in. I think it's going to be raining for the next few days. But I hope you enjoyed the video you're about to see. Stay tuned for our next episode of The, the Drone, Drone Show. Show.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave us a comment, give us a thumbs up, and stay tuned for our next episode of The Drone Show.